All right, so today I'm going to be talking about something, and I decided to make a video instead of a recording because a friend of mine told me that he liked seeing my face whenever we did this, whenever I do this. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll give it a try. Um, and I'm going to pause it the way that I do recordings because otherwise there'll be long pauses as I look for the right word. All right, so we're going to be talking about the patriarchal. A lot has been said about the patriarchy lately. <laughs> Much vehemence has been leveled at what's being called the patriarchy. But I'd like to talk about what the patriarchy actually is. Not the patriarchy, that's just a term that's come up of what patriarchal means and also how it works and why it's useful. So patriarchal has to do with family and it specifically has to do with fathers. So the father. The first thing that comes to mind is the very beginning of the Bible in Genesis where it talks about um, the idea of um, it says that in the beginning, so in Genesis 1 1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word used is Elohim, which is plural. So a better translation would be something like, In the beginning, the gods created the heavens and the earth. And yet we also have this, top, this ultimate figure, the Elohim, being the very beginning of creation, or Another way to think of it, I wasn't planning on going quite as de in depth into this. This is kind of more of a theological discussion. Um, but uh, so uh, when, uh, as the, um, the Christian view of things is that there's um, a Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So that there is um, three elements of what God is, of his nature, of, of God's nature. So there is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And often in the um, Bible, what it says is, when it speaks of Jehovah, it says, Yahovah, our Elohim. Um, another way of thinking about it is like, Jehovah, our representative of the Elohim. The Elohim is plural in, in Hebrew, so it's always the Father's. So Jehovah, our representative of the Father's. So. The very fabric of existence is familial. We exist because of the union of a man and a woman. And so we can kind of get it when it comes to earthly life because we, we look around we can look at our parents and we can see that their union created us. But we don't think in terms of family um, quite as closely when we think about our heavenly creation, so what we were before we came here. But we're given clues in that uh, we're always talking about it in family terms. So we're talking about, we talk about our Father that is in heaven, right? So now um, I wanted to talk about this idea of a patriarch or the patriarchy. Um, that's the word that's been bantered around lately. Um, now the truth is is that is that we the, the, the reviling that exists today I think has um, the, the concern is with um, the corruption that exists within um, large business, the banking structure in particular and, um, and politics because they're all married now. <laughs> and um, the one thing to realize, the fascinating thing, is that it's actually not so much um, patriarchal. It's not family. Um, it's more corporate. So corporate takes on a structure which is actually quite antithetical to um, what we would consider as patriarchy or the, the, the role of the patriarchs. And it doesn't take a whole lot of thought. We just have to look at it kind of closely for a second. So 
or, or look at the particulars of the language and the way that it functions. So within a corporate structure, the people at the top, they, um, they are served by those on the lower levels and the lower echelon. And so that the, the work of the people below serve the people at the top. And this is the thing that people hate, <laughs> is that, you know, this evil, what they're calling a patriarchy, has basically fed upon the children of the family. If we want to consider our nation or the world as a family. But the truth is, is that the, the very problem is the fact that we we haven't been functioning like a family, we've been functioning like a corporation, and that's how corporations work. The higher you move up the structure, the more you get paid, right? So the, the CEO at the top earns you know, several million dollars a year, and nobody, well, now people are batting an eye, but, but um, for a long time it was like, oh, of course, you know, if I, if I take on more and more responsibility, you know, the more I'm going to get paid. Whereas, if you consider a family structure, you know, when you have a parents, um, with parents, the, uh, the parents actually serve the children. So, so the, the, the idea is that it's like the ones that are on the very bottom level within a family are the ones who actually feed upon the parents. And so, for example, it, you know, it's very literal, it's actually biological. So the mother actually feeds the child at her breast. Uh, she actually, you know, which can actually kill her. <laughs> You know, if she's not getting enough vitamins, nutrients, etc., you know, um, and so the same with the, the father of the family. The father works to serve the family and uh, works for many years um, without any remuneration from the children, um, and he invests in the children over a long term, over the long term, and so that is what it is to be um, a patriarch. Or a matriarch, a father, or a mother. And so in this first video, I'll probably cut it at this and make another one, another episode. In this first one, what I wanted to delineate is the difference between corporate and patriarchal. They're, they're two very, very different things. And you want to be careful because um, we see, we'll see in the next one even more that the structure in which the very fat, not just the fabric of our earthly existence, but the fabric of the universe is patriarchal. <laughs> it exists because of parents. We even speak of our heavenly parent, our Father which is in heaven. Alright, so we'll call this recording number one and we'll do another one. This may be two, a two or three part series, so talk to you soon.